that was that. No article appeared in any paper saying the park was closed for good. There was no public outcry at its demise. In the end, it was as if no one even noticed or cared. The park stood for years, waiting for someone to simply throw a switch and make the lights and the sounds and aromas return. Tickets remained in the ticket booths, and the Ferris wheel stood motionless. When hearing the news that his park had closed, Parker Beach, who for so many years had been the heart and soul of Chippewa Lake, made a special request of his family. He wanted to be buried in his park. To this day, permission was never granted and there were no formal papers. But in the park, there is one lone gravestone. As Chippewa Lake Park faded into history, it was once more united with Parker Beach. And as it is wont to do, time slowly took its toll. In the summer, the weeds grew over the rotting picnic tables. In winter, the snow collapsed the roofs of the midway, and the Ohio rains took care of the rest, rusting even the sturdiest of rides. The park still stands today, but it will never be able to welcome back riders again. <laughs>